Hello, 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 and welcome back. I'm recording all these reading in one day because um, I have a headache and I popped one too many Tylenols. That's not true. For legal <laughs> reasons, that's a joke. <laughs> I took two Tylenols as one and my weight should do. Today, I'm going to read a little bit of a Clance one. It's a very short one. It's currently still coming out and I read this one last night. It is very good. So quick explanation of it. Keith is a vampire. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's a vampire AU. Very short. This is just for all my Voltron fans. Voltron has a very special place in my heart. So even though I know a lot of you guys are just my hero fans, if you are interested in watching a new show, I highly recommend Voltron. It's a very space one. Um, if you want Clance to canon, don't watch season 8. I don't even know what that season is. But it is called Blood and Water by Mo20112233 on Archive of Our Own. The summary is, on the brink of a breakdown from the lack of blood, Keith stops by Voltron Diner looking for a rare burger to at least make him feel well enough to drive home. But fate had other plans, as Lance gets dropped into starving Keith's lab. This one is currently still coming out, so... We're gonna read chapter one. Chapter one is called chapter one. The world around him faded in and out of clarity. Lights from the neon signs blurred in colorful blobs and the ground was wet from all the rain. His head pounded, chest ached, and he was sure if he were alive, he'd be dying. Keith stumbled out of the alleyway, hand on the wet and somewhat moldy brick beside him. No rats, no blood, no luck. He needed to act fast. He could feel his control waning as the scent of past fires flooded his nostrils. Voltron Diner, that was his last shot. It wasn't the best place for food, but if he asked for a burger so rare it was still bleeding, no one would question it. A couple walked by him, laughing about something that must have happened during the night, and Keith felt his fangs protrude as the scent at the scent of their blood. Get a f grip, Kogan, he mumbled, pressing himself against the wall. Where were people even still doing out? It was three in the morning, making some half-ass excuse that it was likely their increased presence that scared off all the rats and other small game that he could usually make a snack of. He pushed on the door of the diner. The bell chimed above his head, letting the staff know they had a customer. A big guy helped him to the table. Keith clenched his jaw, praying that he would get his burger fast. He just needed something to quench his immeasurable growing thirst. He couldn't believe he'd let himself get like this in the first place. He was responsible for making sure he kept himself fed. But one too many late nights saying, I'll just drink tomorrow, has finally caught up to him. Hello there, my name's Lance, and I'll be your server today. Can I get you started with anything to drink? Keith looked up at the source of the voice. This Lance. Tall, he noted. Tan, smooth skin, blood, AB negative, exotic. Keith could hear this guy's heartbeat, could hear the blood pumping through his veins. It was intoxicating. He gripped the table tightly, willing himself not to tear open the pretty waiter's neck. Water's fine, I'll just have a burger as rare as the cook is willing to make it, he grit. Lance chuckled softly, straight to the point. A man who knows what he likes, he mused as he wrote down the order. Sounds good, it'll be out shortly. And Lance took the menu from Keith, their fingers brushing for a moment. Keith could feel his pulse in that moment. The world starting to fade as Lance walked away. This wasn't good. Keith could feel himself slipping away. His nose fixed to Lance's scent. He'd never tasted AB, but he was itching to. He heard rumors that it was addictive, like a drug but rare in humans, and even rarer in animals, especially when you considered animals to be having more blood groups than humans. Lance returned rather quickly. Hi, I'm sorry, but it looks like we're out of ground beef for the moment. Keith felt his last shred of hope die. I can get you something else if you'd like. Meat. Well, we have chicken or pork. Keith groaned internally. Of course, they only had white meat left. White meat didn't bleed very well, and you couldn't order it rare, otherwise it wasn't safe to eat. Both. All right, how do you like them? However, just please, I'm very hungry. Of course, it's on the house, by the way. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. He walked off again back to the kitchen to put the new order in. The chicken might have given him 10 more minutes of lucidity. The pork 15, so if he ate fast, he'd probably be sober enough to drive home without crashing and get into his emergency blood stash. He considered calling an Uber, but being in that tight of a space with a person while he was hungry was a recipe for disaster. He was sure if someone got that close to him for more than a minute, he'd kill him. He pulled out his phone, still no messages from Shiro. Where was he? He always helped Keith out of binds like this. Alrighty, we've got the ham, bacon, and pork on the side, fried chicken and mashed potatoes on the chicken side. Lance smiled, setting the two plates down in front of Keith. If you need anything else, just yell. You're like my only table right now. He winked and walked away. God, Keith wanted to eat him. <laughs> he had zero interest in the pork and chicken. He just wanted to sink his teeth into the caramel neck and feast on his blood. His fangs dripped with a numbing solvent meant to calm his prey, but just as he was thinking about it. The taste on his tongue, causing him to snap from his trance and begin digging into his food. 
eat quickly and get out. His thoughts screamed at him. He shoveled the last bit of food into his mouth. He didn't even feel mildly better after eating, so this whole thing was just a waste of precious time. Still no text from Shiro. Uber was a huge no-no, and that was it. He just needed to get home. He had to drive home if, even if it was going to kill him. Better than hurting someone. He stood up abruptly and walked out, ignoring the faint call from Lance of, Have a nice night! He stumbled to his car, digging hastily for his keys in his pocket. Nothing. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck, where are my keys? He swore, tearing his coat off and emptying his pockets. Still nothing. It was probably still in the diner. He couldn't go back in and get it. He couldn't. He could feel it. He was already too far gone. His eyes surely red at this point, his fangs poking at his tongue. If he went back into that diner, he was going to kill someone. Maybe there were rats in the alley now. There were no other people still wandering the streets like we do to it being so late. To even be clubbing. It was his only shot. He needed to pray that there was a rat or something or anything. Good night, hunk. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'll leave the light on in the living room. Lance laughed as he stepped into the alley. Keith's eyes locked on him. The way his hands rubbed across his neck, taunting him. More numbing dripped from his mouth. And when Lance turned around to head to his car, Keith pounced. All self-control left his body as he tore into Lance's neck, sucking hard as a sweet honey sugar blood found its way onto his tongue. Lance screamed, and Keith, in that sadistic, uncontrolled state, thought... It was music to his ears. Help! Lance panted, but the numbing started to take effect, lulling him into his calm, hazy state of mind. God, his blood tasted fantastic. It tasted like sweet, sweet relief as Keith greedily sucked down more. Lance moaned, his eyes shutting. Keith decided he liked hearing Lance moan and ran his tongue across the punctured hole just to hear it again, biting another wound into him. Lance's panting lessened and lessened, and eventually Keith came to his senses. He'd probably cleaned Lance a third of his blood. The poor man already passed out in Keith's arms. He was a monster. He ignored the itch in his gut that told him to keep going, to suck him dry, to kill him. Instead, he dialed 911. Anyway, so that's that one for the Voltron one. This is a uh, gonna be a pretty short video, but this is just for my little Voltron babies. I know you guys love this, and I still love this. So we will be reading this together as it comes out. I've read the first eight chapters, but when the new chapter comes out, the ninth one, give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this, and comment down below what you think is gonna happen next. I know, but I'm curious to see what you think is gonna happen next. Also, if you guys have any fanfiction recommendations, <laughs> preferably Harry Potter and use i would love that if it's a slow burn make sure it's done okay <laughs> um i love you guys so much remember to stay safe drink water and do your homework and i will see you in the next video bye